That is the biggest mule deer I've seen in a while. I'm so surprised he's not a five, honestly. We might have to uh, do a bit of running to uh, cut off the other one before he gets away. Let's do it, everyone. No! Don't do this to me right now. I tell you what, everyone, I love walking through those beads. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Bo here from BZ Hub, and we're playing Under Call of the Wild, and today we're chasing down some giant Mexican mule deer, everyone. And to do that, we need to be on this eastern side of the map here. You can see I'm right, right on the edge of this, like, two-third mark here. I'm over by a lake at the moment. Um, and I'm hoping to actually walk into this area and place a tent around here or something to make it a little easier to reach this area in the future. All right, got our tent and now we're heading off. I actually just saw a mating call from a mule deer off in this direction. So let's see if we can uh, get over here and see what that's all about. It is 6.30 in the morning. We are over by a lake at the moment and uh, actually, in the pheasant hunting video, I think, saw some mule deer over here, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. We will kind of be looking for mule deer and whitetail. I know people are interested to see both of them, and both of them should be in this eastern side of the map, which I really haven't looked into very much. But if you saw the map, there's not a lot of lodges over here, everyone. You're really going to have to do a lot of walking and place your own tents because the lodges are way down on the bottom. There's not even one up top. You're going to have to... Look, this is the closest log cabin to way over here. So, yeah, prepare to prepare to walk, I suppose. And um, if you're playing on multiplayer and you're wondering where uh, some of the big animals still might be, they're most likely going to be on this eastern side of the map where everyone's too lazy to walk all that way to find anything. So let's keep walking, though. I'm sure there's got to be something around here worth taking. Oh, man, look at that. You were thinking that hunting mule deer was going to be an easy job in, uh, in Mexico. You might have a lot of hiking ahead of you because uh, this is the sort of terrain you're going to be hunting in, it looks like. Do the Rocky Mountains go into northern Mexico? I have to look this up now. Holy crap, they do. The Sierra Madre Oriental. Oriental Mountain Range. What? That's crazy. So these, this is basically part of the Rocky Mountains. Oh my gosh. Mind blown right now. Just mind blown. We gotta find these darn mule deer. Well now. That's a level four. Oh yeah, that's a good sized buck. Doesn't help that my uh, wind's like going straight at it though. You just gonna keep on running? Yeah, grab it's over there. Top notch. Well, they weren't drinking, but uh, they were eating. And we found them around their eating zone, which was similar to drinking. It was right off the side of the lake anyway. It's pretty good. It's what I was hoping for anyway. Yeah, right on. That's awesome. Good little four right there. Sweet. Let's take a look at him. Yeah, 244 on his way to 314. Quite a big spread there, <laughs> but still a gold, which is pretty awesome. We can see the true score here. Take a closer look at those antlers. Pretty sweet. I mean, we've seen the mule deer before. Uh, Parque Fernando's SRP, you know, old news by now. But hey, it's pretty cool to be uh, hunting them in Mexico. And we're up in the mountains right now. And, and you know, seeing these big antlers still uh, grabs you by the... I, the collar and <laughs> gets you excited or something. I don't know. <laughs> Let's taxidermize them for the lodge. Keep on moving here. I'm trying to collect one of each animal just for the, just for showing off at, at some point, but 
I'm not sure which way to go now. Should we continue going this way? Let's uh, look at the map and see where we need to go. I was hoping to put a tent pretty much where this uh, this section like stops, but maybe, maybe we'll put it up at the top of this hill or something. Let's get up here and see what we can see. Oh, that's right. We have a big horn to pick up too. Just get so focused on things to forget about other things. This started out as a whitetail and mule deer hunt and has ended with a mule deer and bighorn hunt. He's got like a full curl going on though. That's pretty cool. 136. Boy, he couldn't even see anything. Ah, oh, poor, you know, honestly, this is just a mercy kill at this point. Dude couldn't even see anything. His eyes were covered up. Good night. Well, you are welcome. I mean, his horns were like just going into his face and everything. So, yep, that that is uh, that's good for the uh, good for the gene pool there. What the frick, man? I was gonna say, watch it be level three or something. <laughs> well, there's a good old Rio Grande flying over us. <laughs> that's awesome. I will say. My favorite part about hunting on mountains like this is that it just becomes an I spy game at this point. You're literally just scanning throughout the entire mountain. And, and when you do find an animal, man, does it feel good. You're just like, oh, wow, there actually was an animal here. There, this wasn't just a bunch of blank rock and stuff like that. I think we should put a tent on top of that hill right there. We could we can go over the hill to uh, get to that lake or we can run down the hill to that lake. I think it'll be a nice little spot. All right, let's throw this tent down. Let's see here. Put on zero. Look at that, perfection. Just easy setup and we're good to go. And now we can reach this lake over here. We can look into this valley over here. We can run down and go to the other lake and look into this open area. I think that was a great spot. I was I was literally just walking. I didn't even see these glowing at the moment. But hey, look at that. 175 to 210. Track for a mule deer coming this direction. How perfect is that? Oh, I was going to say, wow. Could you imagine if they were just standing right there in the open? There's a boat. That looks like something right there. Does it not? Looks like something laying there. Maybe a bobcat? Oh, that's a little three turkey. All right, a couple of turkeys just got down. <laughs> Man, that was crazy. If you uh, if you haven't seen the turkey video coming, either coming out before this or coming out after this, uh, man, that is that was crazy. Man, see a diamond turkey and then go after it and find an albino turkey. Mmm, just insane. So, uh, yeah, make sure you watch that one. That was pretty good. But uh, let's uh, keep going here. We do have a few more mule deer to find, I think, anyway, to find out where they're all hiding. Um, and otherwise, yeah, see what we find, I suppose. I actually did find a pretty good-sized mule deer track, 190 to 210 or something like that, a while back, but I'm not sure where all that went to. I tell you what, these freaking bighorn with their blowing air out their nose is like scariest it just gets me every time anytime they decide to do that it always because it's dead silent out here it's birds you know chirping and everything and then all of a sudden it's just like <sighs> and it scares the crap out of you holy smoly okay that's a big one i was seeing things running around i was like first off i saw there's another mule deer i was like i saw this guy and i was like that looks like a mule deer to me and then I saw things running over here, but it looks like those are uh, just a couple of bighorn. There is a mule deer behind this hill. There's another bighorn. Those those uh, are, are properly named ones. The other ones, not so much. I tell you what, I think it's time to try somewhere else. Let's go back over here and see if we can find anything. Ooh, I like this area. This is nice. You can imagine putting up like a tripod or something over here just so you could look down on all this land. But this is exactly what I remember about the whitetail and the mule deer. It's almost like the hills really divide it. You can, you can run along the hills 
and maybe catch you know the sound from both of them but uh it always seems like the whitetail are going to be more on the scrubland side than uh on the hill side um i just every time i've gone into the hills i seem to find more mule deer and if i stay down in the scrubland then i find more whitetail 10 years later this is a fun little area over here we've uh so we've gone back to the tent um followed some tracks the uh the 175 to 210 tracks that we've been following uh we started following uh a little while ago and then uh, got distracted by the turkeys we found again and it's led us way over just to show you how far we've been tracking this guy he has led us from the tent all the way down here and we just i just spotted him through these trees here but uh we need to uh need to go track him down Oh. Had a puppy barking at my door, scratching the door too. Do you want to say hi? Say hi, Oslo. Say hi. <laughs> you just wanted to see what I was doing behind that door? Hmm? More trouble than they're worth. Look at that dude, though. Oh! All we needed, all we needed was to just kind of sit there for a little bit, evidently. <laughs> hey, that's a that's a little lesson. Sometimes if you just play with your dogs for a little bit. <laughs> good things will come to you. Oh my gosh! The thing I love about cactus, as I'm seeing a bunch of it around me right now, is that. It just reminds me of like coral, like above ground coral. Like you see this thing and you're like, that looks like coral. If you were underwater, that would be coral. But like this, like that, I'm just saying. Let's take a look at this guy. 175 to 210. I mean, he's not a diamond by any means, but he was a big, big deer. Look at the, got some mass on there as well. 260, still a ways to go. What's that? 40, 54.1. 54.1 points away from a diamond, but still nice antlers. I mean, if you saw this in real life, you would be excited about it. So right on. Well, I'm glad we finally found him because goodness gracious, we uh, we tracked him down for quite a ways. And when I saw that 175 to two to, and just right there, 176, he was just barely over that 175 mark. You have to follow those tracks. You never know what you're going to find on the, uh, the other side. Could have been 210 pounds diamond even. Uh, yeah. That would have been something, but uh, let's let's accept him. Uh, actually, I've got enough money just for the sake of videos. I'll tax streamize him for now. And uh, one last thing I want to do before we end this video, so let's go do it. All right, you may hear a few dogs barking in the background. They're wrestling over something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I was going to change the time uh, to uh, get these guys to their drink zone over here on the lake. But uh, next thing I heard was a mating call. So. Uh, Guess we'll try to do that. And if you're wondering how we're going to make this a little bit more special, we have equipped the Kuso Model 18 97, I want to say, with some 16 gauge slugs. Test out the penetration. See how we can, uh, see how this all goes, I suppose. <clears throat> well, may have heard a mating call, but I don't know. I don't know where they are. Been calling for a little bit here. Haven't seen a thing move. I have a bad wind on top of it. So I might just be, uh, make it harder than I need it to be. Let's go back to the cabin, change the time. We'll get it back out here with their, uh, their need zone, hopefully. All right. It is time. I'm eager to see if this makes a big difference. Maybe just as bad. Who knows? <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. Okay. See, there's our first mating call. See, they've made it from the mountains to the lake now, so I, uh, we must be doing the right thing. Hopefully. Hopefully they're not across the lake. Ooh. He's alert, too. He knows something's up. There they are. Look at that guy. He's freaking massive, man. 
That dude's freaking crazy looking. Yeah, we need to go for him. That is the biggest mule deer I've seen in a while. I'm so surprised he's not a five, honestly. All right, now this could go either way, honestly. Sometimes they really do not want to budge off their need zone. And other times they come off of it. So we'll just, we'll just call a little bit and see how they react really. But these two right here are huge, man. This might turn into a run and gun scenario. We're just going to have to see. Especially if we do get a shot on one of them. We might have to uh, do a bit of running to uh, cut off the other one before he gets away. But this is all wishful thinking. I'd just be happy with one of them at the moment. Especially with this dude looking right at us. Got like a bead of sweat just going down my forehead right now. That dude took off and the other two stayed. Just about time to make something happen. We got to turn grapes into wine or something. I don't know. <laughs> Lemons in the... Oh, he is perfectly broadside right now, too. Let's do it, everyone. No! Don't do this to me right now. That was such a disappointment on so many levels. <laughs> so here's a little here's a little dev thing for you. When they when they put out the the beta for this game, they said, "By the way, the Kuso is really fun, but uh, we're having an issue where uh, if you shoot the gun, if you shoot another gun, uh, you may have trouble getting the Kuso to shoot. But if you just go back and fast travel or something like that." It'll it'll work itself out. Ah oh, man, and then of course you put the gun up to shoot this massive buck and he turns to alert and he knows we're there and then it just doesn't fire. Oh man, that was such a burst to my bubble. Luckily, luckily we were able to pull out the 30 odd six. I did it with iron sights too. I tried to keep it as, as good as possible. Man, I really wanted to see the penetration of the slugs. That's so disappointing. But uh, this dude, this dude's awesome looking. That guy over there is awesome looking. In fact, I'm gonna save this guy for afterwards. Let's go check out this first. He's just over here, which means that we must have got a decent shot on him. I was a little worried when I pulled the trigger. I was like, hmm, I don't know. That might have been a little behind. But uh, let's check this guy out. 280, he's 20 points higher than the last one we shot. That's awesome. Uh, got the stomach and the liver, which did enough to bring him down. Gave us the vitals. Uh, 280.3. Check out the true score on those antlers. Very cool. Very cool. That's the one cool thing about the mule deer is that they have these giant antlers that have a lot of spread on them. Um, you know, the, the whitetail may have a lot of points, but they don't they don't seem to get this massive, you know. Um, so that's very cool. 280 on this bad boy and uh 314 for a diamond let's go check this guy out i'm hoping he's over 300 just to give us a glimpse at kind of what a good uh rancho del arroyo uh diamond would would kind of look like i'm excited to see let's go check it out yeah those antlers are freaking cool man he just needed to be a little wider otherwise man he's like a perfect trophy Ah, oh, 272. He actually scored less than the other one. That's amazing. Look at that hard shot right in there. He, uh, I was actually aiming right at the lungs up here, and uh, and he turned at the last second. And I mean, it didn't work out for him. Went right into his uh, right into his heart there. But uh, 272.7 on the final score. But look at those antlers, man. Look at the mass on them. Those uh, those brow tines even look thicker than the last guy too. Um, man, the symmetry on this is, is just amazing, but, but yeah, didn't score higher than the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, this is a 12 point mule deer. That's a, that's pretty impressive, um, for being typical and all that. Golly, 
that's a that is really cool we can see the uh, lengths over here uh, spreads as well circumference uh, very cool very cool indeed 272.72 or 7 yep 0.7 right on well I tell you what I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to taxidermize this even though I should have probably taxidermized the last one since he was a little bit bigger but I I hope I hope this kind of gets you excited about I know we've had mule deer on Parque Fernando we've had him on uh, uh, SRP and now now we've got them on uh, Rancho Del Arroyo as well but uh I think they're gonna be a lot of fun I know that if uh, if you're missing out on some big mule deer this whole hunting area is just gonna be fantastic for hunting mule deer and uh, I'm excited to see what you all think about it because uh, it's uh, it's it's gonna be great I do like I do like the mule deer I think they're beautiful I have one or two diamond mule deer in my lodge I can't recall but uh, they're 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 stunners that's for that too yep one in park a one in and SRP that's right stunners is what I was gonna say they are they are stunners uh, no matter the case so uh, excited to see what you think about this giant rack here as well as the one before this they were both very nice looking bucks and hopefully you can get back out here and hopefully when you get your copy of Rancho Del Arroyo you won't run into the same trouble I did with the Cuso there but uh, I tell you what, if you enjoyed this video, I found it helpful in any way, seeing some of the need zones, some of the areas you can be hunting for mule deer, as well as how they're going to be looking uh, while they're doing, you know, while you're doing it, then uh, perhaps hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from the BZ Hub. We do lots of outdoor games as well as live streams Monday and Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central. Changes up every now and then. Make sure to join the Discord links down below uh, so that you can keep up to date on our live streams and when we're doing them and all that sort of stuff. Life just seems to get busier and busier as time goes on, so it's good to follow along with that. But, uh, yeah, other than that, everyone, I hope you found this video entertaining. Comment down below what you think about all this. I know I, I asked what you think, but comment down below about it, and uh, see you in the next video. Take care, everyone, and as always, remember, we're one planet, one family, game on.